Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome or welcome back. What was I trying to say? I don't know, words are hard. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you're missing out, my friend. Make sure you subscribe. Also hit the like button down below if you like what's for dinner uh, videos, because that's what this is. That's what you clicked on based on the title. You already know. So thank you guys so much for watching and let's just get going. Let's just get going. So this week's dinners includes the following. We are gonna be making a veggie Cajun pasta. The veggie Cajun, Cajun pasta is going to include mushrooms, spinach, and zucchinis. Also with a bagged salad on the side, then we are going to be having a shredded chicken jalapeno pinto bean situation with some rice. Um, some hamburgers with corn for sure, unsure of the other side, or if we're even going to have another side, we don't need one, but if we want one, we will have one. The next thing we're going to be having is pork chops with broccoli, probably as our veggie side and probably like a rice side. A cherry tomato and spinach ricotta pasta, shredded barbecue chicken sandwiches with corn again, breakfast for dinner with either buttermilk pancakes and biscuits, um, depending on whatever we want, we want and sausage and eggs. Hello friends, welcome to a, our first evening of dinners. This is a dinner filled with food that I got on discount. Okay, so it's storming really bad outside right now, so if you can hear the rain and the thunder, I hope that you find it pleasing and not annoying because this is the day I have to edit and that is just what it is, so. <laughs> Um, okay, so I was really proud of this dinner, by the way, because everything that I used it for, used it for, used for it, gosh, English is hard, was stuff that I bought on a discount slash I already had in the pantry, and I think in total I spent less than $4 on this meal this past week for this dinner, and that to me was so freaking exciting, and it was delicious. Well, that was a big one. All right, dinner is ready. I just put the salad in a bowl. Pasta is in a big old pot, <laughs> and that is it. My plan for tonight is to make a pinto bean, like a spicy pinto bean jalapeno bowl with shredded chicken and a buttermilk rolls to go on the side. Uh, I'm finding recipes to use with this buttermilk that I got for 25 cents, which is a crazy good deal. I have my, a pretty big mixing bowl. I'm gonna add one package of yeast. And I have half of a cup of warmed milk and I'm going to pour it into the yeast. And I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes to let it do its thing. And then I'm going to pour a cup of buttermilk into my hot pan and let that warm up as well. All right, it has been about 10 minutes. My Milk and yeast stuff has been sitting here. I am going to pour one fourth cup of sugar in, as well as one teaspoon of salt. And I am going to add in the buttermilk that I left on the stove. It's definitely, um, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but we'll find out really soon, I guess. All right, and this is where it tells you to use a stand mixer. Here are my stand mixers, okay? I don't have stand mixer. I wish but I'm not. Okay, so add two cups of flour. I, this is my half cup scoop. It's just easier to get in. So I'm gonna do four of these. So I'm gonna be adding half of a teaspoon of baking powder. I honestly, you really need to get some more. Um, and then I think I'm supposed to add it like one cup at a time because I still have two cups left that I can be adding to this mixture here. Slowly add in the other two cups of flour so i'm going to start with one cup here so i'm just going to do two half scoops add another bowl I'm going to oil it lightly you know i'm not because my oil dispenser is empty my bread just like this on top of my dishwasher because that's probably the probably where the most heat is in my home just also a little bit of flour onto my surface here and I'm going to transfer my dough onto my surface. Yeah, so hand my little cutters. It's actually like a scraper, but I use it as though it's like a cutter. Okay, let's see. 
a cutter. I don't even know what the correct terminology there would be, but probably not cutter. <laughs> Specialty made from scratch rolls here. Okay, now we're gonna cover with a towel again. Okay, and we're gonna let it rise for another hour. So tonight I am making like a jalapeno pinto bean shredded chicken soup situation. I'm gonna make it over rice, I'm pretty sure. And as you guys saw, or we will see, I've been prepping these rolls all day. They look like they've risen quite a bit. So the last step of our rolls, so we're going to give it a milk egg wash. You guys in on the action. Oh yeah. These look good. Some of them are way larger than the others. Oh my gosh. These look so good, you guys. I think the directions say to cook them between 13 and 15 minutes at 375 degrees. Run, do not walk, and make these rolls. Garrett and I literally finished them in like two days. I also brought some to a coworker of mine, and they also said they were delicious. But let me tell you, delicious. Also, I think this meal was my personal favorite of the whole week. I ate the leftovers every single day for lunch until we cleared them out. This was so freaking good. Holy cow. The recipe that I followed was from this like hiker guy. And the recipe is really funny, so I'll link it down below for you guys. And I tweaked it, tweaked it a little bit as always, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to let it come to a broil. And then once it broils, I will reduce it to a simmer and let it sit from anywhere to 45 minutes to one whole hour. It is boiling away. These don't look that brown, but like they feel cooked. Like they're not, like I don't want them to burn. I could throw them back in there for a little bit longer, but I feel like that's a good color they le definitely look less brown <laughs> on camera than they do in real life i'm gonna try one i take the funky one probably because it's also a bigger one right Whoop. wow that is so good make those wow that's so flaky like look at that oh i'm so hot it's burning my hand Look at that. Oh my God, those are delicious, you guys. Holy cow. I d you definitely don't have to add the rice directly in, but I just feel like it was gonna add so much to it. Right, you were looking at tonight's dinner. We're gonna be making hamburgers. Um, my bread's been thawing. I'm gonna have one of my corns. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the best boiled corn. I'm gonna slice up this cantaloupe, although it's kind of like starting to get yucky, so. Hopefully I can get something out of it. So our water is boiling. The next step is you're gonna put your corns in and not throw in yourself. Although I just did, cool. I let it come back up to a boil, but you definitely don't have to. Um, I was gonna initially just do half a cup of milk because I'm only doing four things of corn, but I um, accidentally poured a whole cup. So we're just gonna go with that all the way in. And we're doing half a stick of butter. We do a full stick of butter. That's what most recipes call for, but a half I feel like will do mighty fine. Reduce the heat a little bit, and then you're gonna cook it for like eight minutes. Hey right, guys, dinner is ready. Burgers are fully cheesed up. Corn is ready to go. And what is your preferred? hamburger cheeseburger toppings i think tonight so i like to do like a barbecue and jalapeno style but i think tonight i'm going to do a ketchup and pickle is that controversial i don't know maybe a barbecue and a pickle i just love a pickle Ooh, wait i have the sauce hold on sir also knows how much i love these um is that gonna be good on a burger she's about to find out nothing screams Summer to me, more than a hamburger and corn on the cob. You can have another veggie with this. I have cantaloupe that I'm gonna serve with this also. I'll let you know how this combination is, but I am very excited about it. All right, friends, it is time for another night of dinners. Here's everything we're making. I'm making some broccoli, a little bit of a rice side, and then I'm going to make a marinade, which I'm going to whip together 
Right now, I'm going to bake everything in the oven. Okay, I've made a lot of marinades in my time, and this one was probably my least favorite, or one of my least favorites, um, probably my least favorite meal of this week. I don't know, I just didn't love the flavor combo that this marinade provided. Also, I did not follow the recipe to a T. Like, I definitely added some lime juice instead of lemon juice, so that probably changed it up a little bit. But I honestly, I ended up covering my pork chop and barbecue sauce because life hack, if you don't like your food, cover it in barbecue sauce or whatever dipping sauce that your preference is. I mean, it looks good. And the pork chops were juicy. I didn't overcook them, which is hard to do. All right, friends. Welcome to another evening of dinners. Tonight's dinner is inspired by like a white barbecue chicken sub that I found on Pinterest that looks so good. I actually decided that today, <laughs> um, but initially I was just going to do regular barbecue chicken. Um, I have buns left over after hamburgers. I got four of those and then another corn we're going to do on the side. I'm going to go over the, the substitutions in the recipe for the chicken. So I do not have lemon juice, so I am going to use lime juice for the citrus. I do not have horse radish, but I do have ginger, so I'm going to use that. And I don't have Cajun mustard, but I do have mustard and Cajun seasoning. So those are the substitutions. Also, I'm adding a jalapeno because I have them, um, but I'm gonna saute those up together. And this is what I'm gonna be sprinkling on top. Let's get going. Okay, this week, <laughs> or this, not this week, this evening, I was super proud of this meal. It was tasted very good. But when I was putting the sandwiches into the oven to let them broil, my, so my, ever since I hurt my wrist a while ago, my grip isn't always the best, okay? And I went to go put the sandwich in the oven and my wrist like gave out and the sandwiches toppled over into the oven. We had to reposition them on the baking sheet. One of them kind of died, you'll see in a minute. And then whenever I was <laughs> plating these, I dropped one of the top buns in the corn sauce and Garrett was like, what is going on with you tonight? And I was like, I don't know, but it tasted good even though it was a wreck. I am gonna be making breakfast. I'm also gonna be making eggs, but this meal was inspired by finding this sausage deal, great freaking price, and the buttermilk deal, great freaking price. And I really need to use up the rest of that buttermilk. And um, we're gonna make biscuits with what you see here. I'm gonna make sausage and I'm gonna do eggs and that's gonna be our meal. All right, I have all my dry ingredients in here and I cubed up a whole stick of butter and now I'm going to mix this together and then we're gonna add in our buttercream and see how this goes. Okay, so I didn't have like a dough kneader thing. So I used this masher, it definitely did not work. And I used a little bit more buttermilk than the recipe called for. I think I need to get a new baking powder because it's old. Like, it is old. I've had that thing forever. I've never replaced it. And my biscuits didn't rise. I mean, they tasted good. They tasted delicious. Uh, but they looked a little funky. And they didn't rise at all. So I've been, I've known that I needed to get a replacement. And so I think this sealed it for me. What do I do? A square biscuit or a round biscuit? Way, Just to get a nice glaze on the top all right there you go breakfast is served along with some coffee of course and funky biscuits hello everyone welcome to the seventh and final dinner for this what's for dinner i did in fact film an intro to this dinner but it has gone into the abyss never to be seen or heard from again so here we are you're getting present becky recording a voice over hello hi what's up so for this dinner i decided to make a cherry tomato sauce so what i did was i reduced the onions jalapenos and cherry tomatoes until they got all boily like that and then i took my little masher and i mashed it up a bunch and a bunch and a bunch and then I seasoned the heck out of this sauce, okay? And I say that specifically because this was probably, mm, well, I didn't love the pork chop recipe, but the, my husband said this one wasn't good, but he always tells me my food is good because he's a smart man. Uh, but I didn't love this recipe and I because I felt like the, the sauce didn't have a ton of flavor, which I don't under, understand really because as you'll see, I added so many spices to this mix 
It was honestly a lot for this tiny little pot, but I added onion powder, added garlic powder. I think I added Italian seasoning, paprika, I added paprika as you see there. Yep, Italian seasoning, the trifecta, onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning. What else did I add? Show us, Becky. Oh, a little dash of sugar to help with the acidity. What else did you do, Becky? Oh, crushed red pepper flakes. And the thing I added, salt and pepper. Look how many crushed red pe pepper flakes I put in there. That's a lot. I'm pointing at the screen right now like you guys are going to be able to see me. Salt and pepper. And that is what I added to that sauce. And still, I felt like it needed a little something like to give it that oomph, you know? Like a lot of times I feel like my food has like quite a bit of punch. But for some reason, this sauce didn't have it. Maybe it's all the processed stuff that is in normal pasta sauces. I don't know. Then I add some spinach to the pasta sauce. Oh, and then I added some pasta water to the pasta sauce to give it, to help the sauce stick to the noodles as well as make it, um, like spread it out a little bit more, give it a little bit more longevity. And then, oh, also I actually froze this ricotta cheese because I wasn't sure if we were going to have time for this meal or not. Turns out we did. So by the way, ricotta cheese uh, freezes just fine. I'm squeezing a lemon onto this, and I don't know if you recall, but a few recipes ago, I told you guys I didn't have lemons. I had one lemon just hanging out in the back of my fridge, and I said, hmm, what am I going to do with this? Oh, I know. Add it to my ricotta cheese. <laughs> Cooking is a science, you guys, and you just throw stuff at the wall, and you just hope for the best. And I was telling you it was frozen because there's like a block of ricotta cheese that's just like hanging out in there. Okay, garlic powder. Look how much I poured into that. It's crazy. Italian seasoning. I probably dumped it in some crushed red peppers if I know myself. Maybe not, apparently. I don't know. But I stirred the ricotta cheese directly into the pot that I was going to cook it in. I guess it's a dish poured in my pasta noodles and stirred that around and also I flung noodles everywhere and my dogs had a heyday with this <laughs> they got some noodles um from this because they were super excited about it and I just left that ricotta cheese block in the center and then I poured in the red sauce wherever that is it's just nowhere to be found right now but it's coming so I'm fresh out of cheese but if you wanted to top this with more cheese you totally could there's a little ricotta cheese bot that's Hanging out, and my dogs are now hovering because they got a pasta noodle. Uh, okay, throw this in the oven, 350 degrees for about an hour, probably around an hour, 45-ish minutes, and then you'll be done. Here it is directly out of the oven. It's bubbling quite nicely. That ricotta ball stayed. It's fine. I'll just mix it in, but it looks pretty good. All right, friends, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of those dinners that we prepped and enjoyed hanging out with me. I know I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Please make sure you subscribe, hang out for more, and I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye!